Hey guys, um, I'm working on populating all of these right now just to get it taken care of in advance, um, but I'm pretty sure that on the 10th is the day that we're going to start this activity, or if you're B-Day class, you do it on the 11th. Um, so I just wanted to record a video for instructions, that way you can see what I'm talking about with this. Um, so today, or with whatever day we end up doing titrations, I want you to do this titration simulation um, while completing the titrations quiz. So this will be a little bit similar to the collisions thing that we did at the very beginning of the semester, um, where you have the two things up at the same time. And then I put a note on here that you'll need to take a screenshot to upload for points as part of this quiz. So if you anticipate that that's something difficult to do on your phone, you probably need a computer for this. Um, so I wanted you to know in advance. So what do you'll need to do, if I put that down, is I would probably do it side by side like this. Um, and so you'll click on the little quick start thing and then it gives you a message. Okay, and then titration level one is where we're going to start. So go there and it says, if you wanna save your progress, blah, 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 log in. But we don't have a way to log in with this or register. So just click okay, that's fine. Um, and then it will take you onto here. And so these little um, like things along the bottom here, I didn't notice them until way later, but it starts to fill in as you get all the way through. Um, so you'll kind of be able to keep track of your own progress and know like how far along you are. Um, it's also going to keep track of your points and then each activity has um, a number of points available. So you'll just take your, take your time going through this um, and then it asks you, questions, has you watch a video, all that kind of thing. So the questions that I put on your quiz correspond to questions that are in here. And so on the simulator itself, you have multiple attempts at getting it correct, which means that by the time you're typing your answers into the quiz, you should know exactly what you're typing. Some of them are things that you could probably answer on your own, um, but this way you're 100% confident in your answers. And then something else that you're going to be doing for credit is down at the bottom, um, I put a screenshot of my screen when I did this, um, but then I blurred out all of the numbers on here. So once you get to, I think it would be this one though, I'm, I took a screenshot a little bit late. So um, there comes a point where you're doing these trials on different points in the river. So this was sample site C that I actually did it, but you also do one for sample site B. I want to see screenshots of both of yours. Um, so yours will have numbers on here. All of these will be, um, filled in and populated, and I don't think that your numbers will match anybody else's, so I want to see your actual thing, and this guy doesn't let you move along until you do it correctly, um, which is kind of the whole point of this activity. So I want you to pay attention to um, what's happening with the, um, they think, I don't remember if they called it a stopper or something. We've always called it a stopcock on the burette. And then don't forget also on this part that the burette is kind of read um, upside down where the zero is at the top and then the larger numbers are at the bottom. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's probably what would pop up if you clicked on help reading the burette. So two spots for you to upload your photos on there and then some kind of finishing up questions. Um, if you have questions on this, I guess you can message me, but I will likely not respond. Good luck.